down below which one do you like? Should I keep any of them? Those are also really soft as well. It's the Numero set. Dark gray. And this is actually a wool mix. Mostly wool, but I don't know. I guess I'll have to try this on and see if I like it. But it's nice it has a top handle. Or you can carry it on the shoulder with this longer strap. It's in this little ring here. No. Pull it. And suck. I do like that it has an accordion style thing, which makes it easier to open up. There's all these bag tags tucked inside too. In French. Telling you the material, care instructions. And now there's another one. Which I ordered which is in tote. So I will grab that as well. So Normally their leather bags are all leather in the bag and it's made with a grained leather. This is actually more of a smooth calf skin sort of leather. I can already tell that this bag has softer leather than this. It's a lot more malleable in the strap versus this one. It's just kind of stiffer. So it may soften up over time. And I think I do like how this bag looks, maybe slightly more in this color. They're both kind of nice. I don't know, which one do you guys like? Leave me down your choice in the comments down below which one you would pick out of these two. The suede here is a darker suede that kind of matches this. The clasp is also harder to close. Which is going to probably annoy me in the longer term. Suede is lighter as well, you can see. Turns into this dark one. I mean, I think the black one would be nice to have over the cream one. Though I love the richness of the, of the leather on the taupe colored one. I am realizing now, I didn't think it was going to be a big issue, but I am hating the fact that these are attached permanently. I think it would be nice if this strap was detachable because this is a very thick strap. It's like what canvas straps are usually in thickness, but this is leather and I don't think I've ever seen such a thick leather strap. Polen does make this handle detachable, but they do not make the strap detachable, which is counterintuitive because every other brand I've seen that isn't luxury usually makes these bags. Oops, after a water bottle, but I've never seen the handle be detachable, which I find interesting. I do like too, one of the reasons I did like the design of this bag is that the strap is flat. So sometimes with my top handle bags, I carry them and the strap stands up so it jabs into my rib cage, which doesn't make it the best on the shoulder experience but it's lovely as a top handle bag but this you kind of get the best of both worlds which is nice i thought i would actually prefer how this bag looks as a shoulder bag more than a top handle bag but surprisingly um i tried it on in the mirror when the camera was off i like it more as a top handle bag and i kind of wish i could just hide this and I feel like it distracts from the beauty that is up here with the handle. I really love top handles. In case you haven't noticed from all my other videos, I'm a top handle gal and a flap bag kind of gal. The back pocket inside this bag here is like not sewn into the bag, so it's like loose. Kind of like the Bottega Veneta bag. If you have a Bottega Veneta bag, you know what I mean? Like the back flap of the bag where you put like little thin things 
like cards and stuff. It's not sewn into the bag, so it kind of like flaps loosely because it's only attached to the top. And the bottom isn't attached, so it just kind of like rotates inside the bag. And this is the back wall, and it's not fully attached here and here, just at the top. So it's like... That's what it's like in this bag, and it kind of annoys me a little bit. It's like, why do you need to do that? Like, why can't you just put in a couple of extra stitches to sew it to the leather? Because this isn't completely leather, it's two layers. It's a suede leather layer, and then it's also the wool layer. So why couldn't you have just sewn that into the leather layer? That would have worked, because it would have been hidden by the wool layer, which I don't know why Polen didn't do that, but I think that would have been a better design choice. It's also interesting that they reinforced the construction of this bag with this little leather trim bit, um, and even the strap here to keep it in the center. They sew it, um, I think, running across this side all the way to this side and across the bottom is so that when you put stuff in the bag, the bottom doesn't sag because it will bulge, and this is kind of like reinforcing to keep it from bulging, which I find a very interesting bag construction technique that they did here. And the loop here that they attaches in from the bottom becomes a little keyring hole, so you can attach your keys and they won't get lost inside your bag, which is unique. Or you can clip any other thing uh, that has a little loophole to it. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about which one I want to keep, but or if I keep any at all. But this is my Tolen first impressions unboxing of the Numero set. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Which one do you like? Should I keep any of them? If you're enjoying this video, and if you haven't already, give this video a like because we do a lot of fashion-related content on this channel, including stuff that's related to fashion, fashion history, and couture. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell to get all your notifications. If we reach a thousand subs, then I will be letting my viewers pick the next topic for the videos. And until next time, bye!